you know, it was just one of those scripts that you just kind of pick it up and, and, and you know, can't put it down until you get all the way through it. I think it starts in a way where it's not personal. You know, when you ask if the man has anything to lose, I would say that to him, he's already lost it. He's lost, uh, on a personal level, he's lost it from, from uh, you know, losing his family. On, a, on an ideological level, he's lost it in uh, that all the institutions that he believed in have, have failed him. So from his perspective, he has nothing to lose. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel's uh, going through a tough time herself. She's kind of uh, become the caregiver for her aging mother, for her uh, younger brother and his girlfriend that are living here at the house, um, and her own son. She's kind of uh, both parents to her son as a single mother with, a, with an ex that's kind of um, uh, less than... Um, less than ideal in terms of fulfilling his responsibilities as a father. I had no idea what to expect working with Russell. All that I found from the very beginning was someone who was incredibly intelligent, very engaged, and just wanted to make the movie as good as it could be kind of going through every word of the script and making sure that it felt authentic, authentic to the material. And he has amazing ideas. And I, I don't think I've ever worked with anyone who is as acutely aware of what every single person on set is either doing or is supposed to be doing. He really is great at, at talking to anyone and everyone on set and helping them really be the best at their job that they can be. I think that, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of angry people out there where people can't have disagreements and actually talk about them in some way that remains civil and, and productive. the rage that's, that's out there in the world these days. Um, so the film is uh, a great reflection of that. Hopefully it starts a conversation. I think that's really what the best any film can do. I told him, uh, uh, when Russell and I first met, I told him that I always pictured this character of his as the shark in Jaws, where he, you know, he, he shows up, he does some, some things that, that uh, are very memorable, and, uh, and then he's gone, and you don't know when you're gonna see him again. And, and we kind of together use that as a, a touchstone, let's say, for this character. 